Well, LOFA did grow out of the SKA because from the very beginning it was clear that at the low frequencies you needed a different technologies and we had the idea of SKA low. Uh, and it was at a workshop when I was the ORT professor in Leiden that we talked about uh, SKA in the early days and some people, George Miley in particular, thought, hey, here's an opportunity that the Netherlands could actually build a precursor to SKA at the low frequency end. project was certainly a moment or certainly when we found our first radio flash from a cosmic ray that was sort of a rainy night in um, in February in Dringalo when I was looking through the data and suddenly you know there was this radio flash that we had sought so long that we built a prototype station for uh, using LOFA data. I think seeing the, the first images, the first uh, from uh, the uh, test station number one, that was the, one of the best moments. I guess I think of a flat field in uh, northeast Holland with the rain coming down and, uh, um, and uh, sticks of metal sticking out of the ground. That was, that was the first time I actually saw the, saw the instrument. It's been uh, more than 10 years, I think, since LOFAR, since we've been talking about LOFAR, and uh, um, it, it's exciting now to see it actually happening. Uh, antennas on the ground and, and starting to make astronomical observations, and uh, certainly look, looking forward to seeing the, um, the first results coming out.
this uh, new idea, this uh, really switching from steel to uh, electrons and the internet uh, to make this uh, new technology happening and uh, this networking and making use of uh, most modern technology. The, uh, the combination of uh, the simple antenna elements and the technology to be able to process those data to give us this really unique instrument in its ability to see a large fraction of the sky simultaneously. LOFAR is a, a, in radio astronomy a completely new technology come to fruition after many many years of, uh, of development uh, in, in particular in the Netherlands uh, and to see that this new technology will deliver uh, excellent science I think is, is something that we all expect and I'm looking forward to. I think now that I'm actually seeing the low-force stations appearing, I was recently out at Effelsberg, I think they are just absolutely, uh, it's an amazing way in which technology is actually changing, you know, we're no longer relying on these dishes as a way of seeing the universe, we have these very futuristic looking phased arrays that are able to look in many directions at once and, and essentially digitise the data so early that they can be thought of as just sensors attached to a big computing system and I think this is a, a paradigm shift in astronomy really and uh, it's an extremely exciting uh, area in which the science will uh, I think be transformational. <laughs>